everybody guess what came in the mail i'm so excited i ran from the mailman to the house and then um i opened up the cartridge because i wanted to look through the actual little booklet with my husband and we kind of went through all the little images and i i'm just head over heels in love with this cartridge i there's just so many images so many different things you can use it for every holiday for anything and it's just it's a very cutesy cartridge and it's just amazing um i had to pick between this one and the straight from the nest one and i picked this one because i thought like when i pick my cartridges i don't i'm not really into having like 100 cartridges i just want to have like i'm happy with 25 that i use a lot instead of having all 100 and whatever it is that um however many cartridges there are so when a lot like every time like a hello thursday comes out i pick one cartridge that i know that i'm gonna buy from that batch uh of you know of cartridges so from this last batch of the hello thursday this is the one that i picked um and i'm so excited for it i mean eventually i probably will get this straight from the nest but um this is the one that i really really wanted and i'm so happy that i picked this one because when i was going through the booklet i was just ecstatic so um, I got mine at MemoryMiser.com and um, they had it for $39.99 with free shipping so I thought that was a really good deal. So I'm super excited um, and what I did was, I'm so excited that I actually wanted to do two cards for you guys just so you guys can get a little bit of more of a feel even though uh, probably for the next week this is all I'm going to be using uh, for my cards just so you guys can get a really good feel for all the different images and things like that. Um, so since I'm going to be doing two cards I am going to do a voiceover. Um, just to kind of like this part's live but I'm gonna do a voiceover for the two cards just so I can get as much of everything in um, as, as possible and I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do the this cartridge is just unbelievable you do I know Becky um, had said that she wasn't sure if she was gonna get it because she doesn't have kids well I don't have kids either uh, but I'm a little kid at heart and it's just so darn cute that you just have to get it it's so cute for everything for birthdays for friends for everything like that so i hope you guys enjoy it um and i'm gonna try to get everything in i already prepared everything pre-cut everything for the card so here we go okay and there's all of our little pieces and um that's my card base and it's cut out at eight and a half by five and a half and we're gonna fold it in half make an a2 size card that's a Cosmo Cricut, and that's cut out at three and three quarters by five, and I'm putting it on a pink mat that's cut out at four by five and a quarter. And then we're just gonna go ahead and adhere that right down to our card base. So that's really simple, and that's just a scrap um, piece of Cosmo Cricut. I think I already said that, but. And these are all the layers, and um, that's what I love mainly about the Creator Critter. I know everybody's been talking about it, is how easy the layers are. Um, and I'm just using some snail adhesive since it is a little bit of a bigger piece. And I'm just going to go ahead and put everything together. And this is a little piggy and it's so adorable. I absolutely love this cartridge and I know that you guys will love it too. I'm just putting everything together and then I'm my next piece is a little skirt dress. Oh my god, isn't that super cute? I was going to put a flower in her hair but you guys will see why. I didn't do anything like um, on her head or anything like that. And a little nose. And then this little party hat is actually not one of um, her accessories. It's from a different button. But it just, it was so cute. And on the cover of the cartridge, it's a little piggy with a hat. So I, ha I wanted to do the same little piggy with the birthday hat. But she would look adorable with a little flower. And that's just some glossy accents. And I'm just putting that on her nose. Um, whenever I do piggies or little animals, I like to make some part of them glossy, so with um, the little piggy, I picked their nose, her little nose, just to make it a little shiny and cute. And then, so that's my little piggy, and then my little cloud is from a different button also. They have, this cartridge has a lot of conversation bubbles and clouds and scallop circles and things like that. Um, so um, it's really cute, it has a lot of different shapes. And then we're just going to go ahead and put our pop dots on our little piggy. And we're going to be a little bit careful because I did do the glossy accents and it does take a while to dry. So I'm just trying to be extra careful. And we're just going to go ahead and put her on the front of the card. And then I'm just going to put my little bubble also on the top of my card. And then we're going to be almost done. This one's a really simple one. 
So, didn't that just turn out super cute? I absolutely love that little piggy with the hat. And I like that the hat is versatile and you can put it on anything. Here's another card base and I cut this out at four and a quarter the long way. So it's, it's eight, 11 by four and a quarter. And you're just going to score it at two and three quarters on both ends. And we're going to fold it and this is my peekaboo card. I've done this before on, on my channel. I have another video that's the peekaboo. And then these are my panels, and these are cut out at two and a half by four. And we're just going to adhere them just to create little mats within our card. Again, those are cut out at two and a half by four. And I just used, again, some scraps from um, my last card, as you guys can recognize the paper. I like to use my scraps up as much as possible. That way I don't continue to have little pieces and little pieces of new paper. So um, those panels on the inside are the exact same size, so you just have to cut out four panels on the same size. Now this is for the center, and this is cut out at four by five and a quarter, and then we have another mat that's cut out at three and three quarters by five. And this one just, this card has a lot of layering, um, just because it opens up and it has diff different flaps. And that's just one of the scallop circles that's actually in the Creator Critter. And I'm just putting adhesive on half of it and I'm adhering it to one of my little flaps. And that's just to create like a little um, door. And here's my little dinosaur. Isn't he super cute? I'm in love with this cartridge. Have I said that already? I'm sure I have. Um, and here we go. We're just going to adhere all the little layers. What I like about the layering process on this one too is that once you're done layering everything, you end up with a really thick um, die cut, which is really nice. It's nice. It's, it's almost like you cut it out of um, chipboard and then kind of put the, the paper on top of it. So once you're done layering everything, it, it, becomes, like, it becomes a really nice piece. And um, here's my last little layer. And that's going to go right on top of that scallop circle that I cut out from this um, cartridge as well. And that's going to be like our little kind of like our little front, our door, our little peekaboo. Here we go. Just taking out some adhesive that dried up there. And we're going to put that on some pop dots. Well, I guess not. Um, <laughs> we're doing uh, the palm tree, which is going to go on the inside of the card. And I'm just adhering it and putting it all together. Okay, here we go. I guess now we're going to put some pop dots on the little dinosaur and we're going to put him right on the front of the card super cute and then on the inside we're going to put the palm tree now the stem is a little long for the inside so I'm just going to cut off a little piece and then it's perfect and I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of this and I'm just using tons of different adhesive in this video um, I noticed that afterwards that I was just using everything anything and everything I had in sight so we're just going to put our little palm tree down and then I have a little stamp and we're going to go ahead and stamp it there and I just completely forgot and I think it says wishing you an enormously wonderful day and that's just for the dinosaur so those are the two cards with the Create a Critter cartridge here's our final photograph I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be making many more videos with this cartridge this week. Thanks for watching. Bye now.